All right, hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Watch and Roll. Today, I'm going to show you how to correctly set up an analog watch. It doesn't matter if it's a automatic or a quartz. This is supposedly the safe, healthy way to set up a watch to ensure also proper alignment. So, by the way, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button because uh, later on, I'm going to have the full review of this really amazing uh, Japanese domestic market. Seiko Marine Master Professional 300 Tuna. So make sure you're right there. By the way, did you see that killer loom? This is the best loom I've ever seen in a watch ever. But anyway, so automatic or quartz uh, is the same. It's basically the same thing, the same principle for both watches. So I'm just gonna do it with the Aris Aquis, just because it's a nicer watch. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is to unscrew the crown. Let me pop slide that, all right? I'm gonna take it to the second position. Um, and then I'm gonna go to 6 p.m., the 6 p.m. position. And you, you know, as many of you might know already, but you shouldn't change the date between the 9 p.m. and the 3 p.m. And the reason why is because in that time, uh, the gears are engaging to change the date so um, you could damage that uh, part in the gears um, that the ones that change the date but if you try to change the date during that period of time so that's why we go to the six o'clock position and then we're gonna go back and push it again All right, so now uh, we're gonna go to a day. Uh, we, if we are in the 20th, for example, I'm gonna set the date to the 19th. So I go first position and then I go all the way. Hope you can see. So after you get to 19, then now we're gonna wait for the second hand to hit this the 12 marker in, in which in this example it's already in there and then we're gonna go all the way to see when the, the date changes when I hit the second the 12 o'clock market because it could be a.m. or it could be p.m. so right now there you go now it changed so now we're in a.m. territory so we have to go all the way and cycle um, so we get to the PM territory. There you go. Now that we are in the PM, I'm gonna grab my uh, reference time, which is I'm gonna get this one, atomic watch. So it's 4:48. I'm gonna set it up to 4:50 just to be in the safe zone. Um, so 4:50. So when I'm in 4:50, I'm gonna go five minutes past. And then I'm gonna go back to 50 and I can be as accurate as I would like to be all right so when I'm in there I'm just gonna wait for my watch to hit the time for 50 and then I'm gonna push the crown okay so what happens according to uh, some manuals spe specifically Seiko manuals of professional um, watches is that when we do that we ensure that the gears engage in a um, healthy position and maybe that's one of the reasons why when this second hand hits the 12 marker the minute hand is gonna be right where you put it so it's gonna ensure that the alignment of this of the minute hand it's pretty much exactly there right so as you can see the minute hand is right on the spot right there so we're gonna close our crown. And there you have it guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, comment if you have any comments or suggestions. Uh, let me know if you have any questions also. Without anything further, I'll catch you in the next one.